manager of Fort Smith's Razorback Cab Company. Last week, we told you how the Sebastian County Sheriff's Office removed cabs from the Razorback Cab Company. We now know why. Sheriff's Department serving a court order to satisfy a lawsuit against Razorback Cab. Five News reporter Ian Taylor has the latest. It was a complete abrupt uh, 180 in her life. It was a Sunday morning. Lucy Herschel's lawyers say she was following her normal routine and headed to church when her car was T-boned by a driver who failed to stop at a stop sign on North B Street in Fort Smith. Ms. Herschel's car was flipped and she was injured. Before this wreck, she was an independent 88-year-old. She could get around, she could sit down. She went dancing. She went dancing, she paid her own bills, she was an active member of the Fort Smith community. And what this wreck did is it made her a completely different person. Herschel and her lawyers filed a lawsuit against Razorback Cab in Fort Smith, saying one of their drivers was responsible for the crash. Last month, the Sebastian County Circuit Court ruled in favor of 88-year-old Lucy Herschel, awarding her $250,000 in damages to be paid by Razorback Cab. Court documents say Razorback Cab Company did not obtain a lawyer in time for the deadline. Therefore, to satisfy the judgment, the Sheriff's Department was ordered to seize 30 vehicles and other equipment. We reached out to Razorback Cab owner Sheila Roller, who did not want to go on camera, but gave the following statement, saying, quote, Razorback Cab would like to thank the many people who rode with us for 45 years, our valued employees and cab drivers that worked with us for many years. We are grateful for being able to serve Fort Smith and the surrounding area. Thank you, Fort Smith. The attorneys for Ms. Herschel are thankful for the case is closed, but say this is about more than the money that is still owed. In Fort Smith, covering news where you live, Ian Taylor, 5 News.